Dad, I just got your lab. What are you doing? I'm looking for my anti-venom kit. You don't suppose someone swiped it, do you? Um, no. Look, if I get bitten by a snake while walking through that lobby out there, oh, there's going to be hell to pay, I promise you. Where are you going? I've got to get out of here, love. You know, could you give me a lift back to my plane? Well, what's left of it anyway? Oh, you're right. I probably should find another way to get out of here. Come on. You can walk me out. No, Dad, you're not going anywhere. Dr. Pearson, emergency. Okay. You... <clears throat> Have the floor, my dear. You have stage four colon cancer. Four out of... Four. Oh. Oh. At least I get an A+. Plus. Survival rate. 10%? Well, I've had, uh, I've had worse odds in my life. Darling, life's always been a game to me. A dangerous one, but a game. And Lady Luck's always been on my side. We have to perform surgery to remove part of your colon. And then we're going to have to follow up with a rigorous course of chemotherapy. Okay. All in all, we're looking at... Several months oh, well, before we know if you're in the clear. That's unacceptable. What do you mean? Look, I, I, I got this rebel dude in the Congo I got to put out of business. A couple of months? He could have diplomatic immunity and be sitting poolside in Dubai sucking on a mojito. Well, yeah, I don't care about the dude in the Congo. Look, I promise. I'll send you a postcard. I'll, 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 I'll text you. I'll leave something on your Dad. Dad! Dad! I know you're my doctor, and... A very good one, I understand. I am. I know my chances here. And I, and I, I, I promise I'll get this dealt with. I did say I was going to come back. I mean, why can't I be treated somewhere else? This isn't the only hospital in the world, right? Well, yeah, sure, because the Congo's known for good quality chemo. I know the risk. I know what's going on here. But I just can't have this ruling my life. You're scared. You are. Just admit it. I mean, you're not running off to the Congo to get some rebel leader. You're too scared to stick around and face this. I really don't want to listen to this. Am I free to go? You're an adult. I can't stop you. Fine. You know what? I can stop you. I'll have you committed. That's right. I'll have you declared incompetent. You wouldn't dare. Go ahead and try me. Don't you threaten me, young lady. You'll be in way over your head. Really? I hate to break it to you. Both of my parents are super spies. I got some pretty tough genes. My record stands for itself. My competence has never been up for debate. Maybe. But that was before you, I don't know, crashed your plane in the middle of Main Street? Thought you were on a secret mission from the 80s? And tried to break out of the hospital a week after brain surgery? Sounds like a pretty good case for incompetence to me. What do you know? My little girl's got some spunk. Well, it's been fun. What? Look, you can get your court order. We both know. By the time you wade through the red tape, I'll be a speck in the distance. Fine. You know what? Go. Go to the Congo. Go to Bosnia. You can go to hell for all I care. And if you don't get the treatment that you need, then that's your problem. Can I just have a telegram to know where to go for your funeral? Dr. Scorpio. She didn't mean it. No. No, I... Oh. Are you okay? Yeah. Come on. Let's... Oh, have a seat. Just rest. Yeah. Oh. I don't know what came over me there. Perhaps a little colon cancer? Touche. How could you do that? I'm such a bitch. Hey, be nice. That's my baby's mother you're talking about. I just told my father to go to hell. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I said worse to my dad. 
Your dad doesn't have cancer. Don't worry about it. I'm sure our daughter will say the same thing to us. Well, that's sweet. Well, Evan, cut yourself some slack. Your dad's not exactly the most accommodating guy to deal with. It's like banging your head against the wall. He's so stubborn. Hmm. What? <laughs> okay, come here. Come here. What do you want me to say? I want you to say, I don't know, that he could just be a normal dad for once. Then he could get old and sick and let his kid take care of him. Robin, he's a Scorpio. And if there's one thing I've learned in these last couple of years is that they do not let you take care of them, not very easily, regardless of how much you love them. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, no? Really? Okay, we'll take it from somebody that has a little experience. Your dad's going to do this in his own way, in his own time. You have to give him the space to let him figure it out for himself. What if it's too late? price you pay for loving a Scorpio. So how's my favorite little five-year-old doing? Exhausted. <laughs> he should be. It's past his bedtime. We actually came in to see uh, Dr. Batra. Really? Mm-hmm. So she called... I'm sorry. I shouldn't cry. <laughs> That's okay. I should have told you sooner. It's been difficult. You told me what? Stone has autism. Or some form of it. Jagger. You were right. That's weird. This is the first time I said it out loud, and my son is autistic. You know what? He's still an amazing little guy. Yeah. I owe you an apology. For what? We were lashing at you the other day. I mean, you were just trying to help me. You know what? We're family. And sometimes families say things that they don't mean. <laughs> and then they get over it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. See you later. Okay. Dr. McCullough, surgery. Mm -hmm. So, if I'm going to stay in this flop house, I, I think we can raise the level of service. Okay, what do you have in mind? For starters, let's have a bar. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll see what I can do about having one installed. And, and what about some entertainment? I mean, I, come on, I've, I've stayed in Bombay slums and had a better nightly lineup. Hey, I can play my guitar. That dead alien guy gave me some lessons. So. That's okay. No, thank you. Maybe later. <laughs> so does this mean you're going to be staying for a while? Well, I got a call from my friends in the Congo, and uh, things are doing quite well there. I mean, they don't need me just yet. Well, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Why don't I show you to your room, sir? Hmm. We, we have many amenities, which huh? I'm sure will be to your liking. Oh, good. Uh, let's not forget the adult. Oh, don't push your luck, buddy. Okay. It's a thought. Okay. 